Ascension Galactica fleet is away. Stand by to jump in five, four, three, two, one, jump. The hyper circumference of effectiveness in three, two, one, FTL jumps. I recently re-encountered Kenneth Burke's use of circumference to theorize the scope of a rhetorical event. He mentioned the concept briefly in his 1978 essay, Questions and Answers About the Pentad, which I revisited for a graduate seminar I am teaching. Burke called circumference a quote very important consideration, for his discussion of dramatisms, of freeing drama from this stage and finding it everywhere in the world as acts, agents, agencies, scenes, and purposes. Circumference is, of course, elaborated more fully in a grammar of motives. Here he spends ten pages on the idea and relationship to the scene-act ratio, noting that circumference is co-constitutive of a subject. Quote, the choice of circumference for the scene in terms of which a given act is to be located will have a corresponding effect upon the interpretation of the act itself." End quote. Circumference is more than contextual, more than spatio-temporal. It is terminological, too, and Burke reminds us quote, to be on the lookout for these terministic relationships between the circumference and the circumfeared end quote, between words and the invisible fences they build. Inquiring into the effectiveness of teaching digital writing for the wide EMU conference has gradually drawn me to consider, and really puzzled over, problems with circumference. What is the time-place perimeter appropriate for grasping teaching effectiveness? Effectiveness, after all, remains sprawling, leaky, untamable, and to adequately honor these conditions, I explore the notion of hyper-circumference which I will elaborate through a series of three representative anecdotes on October 15th. To have a 